What's up, YouTube? It's your favorite person to listen to again. No, not really. But uh, I'm here to talk to you about the 1995 Mercury Villager again, if you're hooking up a radio. Um, what you want to do, you got to remember a couple things when you're hooking up the new one. They don't make a harness for this. So there's no harness going to be able to plug into the back of your radio deck right into some other kind of plug. <coughs> so you wind up doing something. You wind up cutting the old plug off from the wires that are behind your dash. Well, let me explain to you what that does. When you do that, you're trying to tie into the OEM wiring and you're going to have a nightmare. Well, guess what? It's something you have to learn to do because they don't, once again, they don't make a harness for this. So if you cut off all the old plugs from the other one, from the other, you know, behind the dash, you know, that the one that you replaced that came with the factory, you're going to run into some problems. You're not going to be able to test your speakers. And why? Because all of these vehicles, this generation at least, came with an inline amplifier. Meaning that until you turn on that amplifier, you're not going to hear any sound through your speaker. Why? Um, and how to fix that? Well, I, I don't know why the hell they did that. They made it so hard. But all it, it's easy to fix, guys. There's a gray wire coming out of the back um, from behind your deck. You connect that to the blue remote wire coming from your deck. That will turn on your amplifier. It'll allow you to test It'll allow you to test for what wires what. Now, I don't know what color wires because they came with five different harnesses. So, literally, your van could be different from my van. I have no idea. This is a Ford-made Mercury that used Nissan parts. That's what the 1995 Villager is. So, they use, like, five different colors. Okay. So, once you connect your inline amplifier, once you've tested for what your ignition wire is, um, which means when you turn your key on, when you turn your key forward, two clicks, um, test with your tester and see which wire turns on and then off with your key forward and off. It should turn on and off when you move the key forward and backward. That is going to connect to your red wire coming out of the back of your deck. Now with your key completely off, lights off, everything off, test for what, a, your, you know, what has power. That's your constant power. That goes to your yellow coming from the back of the deck. So now that you got those two connected and you got your remote wire connected, you're going to want to have a ground. If you have run into this problem, I promise you this video is liquid gold. What ground do you use? You'll see pink wires coming out. You'll see blue wires and brown wires and blah, blah, blah. And you're going, holy crap. It's very easy to remember. All the wires in the gray bundle, those are all your speaker wires. Those come from all over the van. Your ground is never going to be in that because those are your speaker wires. You can literally cut the plug off that, connect them right to your speakers once you're able to turn on your deck. But without doing that, um, kind of hard to test your speakers, right? So here's the problem that people run into. What ground do you use? You can use your dimmer light ground. And I say that because you can use the black and pink striped wire as a ground, but you're going to have a problem. You're going to either pop fuses, you're going to turn on your lights at night, and your radio will turn off. You lose all your presets. It is weird buzzing. And the reason why is you're trying to connect a ground through the light system. Your old deck that came factory had dimmable lights on the deck. You can't use that ground because now you're taking the radio ground and you're making it through the lighting. So it, it just, it's all cattywampus. You don't want to do that. So this is what you do. Make your own ground. Quite literally, take a foot and a half piece of wire, connect it to a screw to something metal behind the deck. And I don't mean on the deck. I mean like in the pocket, in somewhere. It could even be the metal housing. I don't suggest that because it's really close to electrical. I would just do it somewhere behind in your dash through that little hole that quite literally will just screw into the metal and it'll be a ground. If you do that, it's going to solve a million of the problems that probably you're looking up this video just to find an answer to. So if you do that, connect your ground to the black wire coming out of your deck, your new deck, and I guarantee you, you're going to be able to test all your speakers. You're going to be able to do just fine. Now what you're going to have is about 10 wires left over 
10 to however many wires left over that went to your old deck. Literally electrical tape them, cap them off, do something. When, once your stereo is working fine, you're going to have leftover wires. The reason why is because of that dimmer system. The old deck had actually a ground in the deck. That's why you're missing it. If you have a black and green striped wire behind your deck, that's your ground for your radio. But I promise you, if you're looking up this video, you're having a really hard time and you're trying to troubleshoot something because nobody on the internet tells you that they don't have a ground wire behind the deck. Um, the reason why is that the cassette, the one that came with your radio, it grounded to the housing in your deck. So there was no need for a ground. It had its own ground. So you look up these diagrams and it says, oh yeah, use the black and green uh, striped wire as your radio ground. And you go, I don't have one. I, you know, then you run into the same problem I did. And that's why I'm making this video. If you do not have that wire, you need to make your own ground and that'll solve every issue you could possibly think of. Um, remember when you have those leftover wires, you know, after you hook everything up, um, do cap those off because some of them are hot when you turn your lights on. Some of them become hot when you turn your lights off. It's it's very much a pain in the ass um, to figure out. But, you know, if you're looking up this video and you got it like three quarters of the way there, you got it hooked up and you're still having problems. That's why I made this video. Make your own radio ground, guys. Hey, and if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, then you ain't running into the same problem I did. But I promise you. This shit is liquid gold.